when you are chosen by the universe, the creator of all that is, the higher source, the clues will keep coming to you. There are no books you can read to identify that you are a special being. So this is your time to start recognizing these signs. I am spiritual, so time to time I love to talk about spirituality and being part of the source energy. So here are the signs that you are a chosen one. You had really tough life. You had to face a lot of challenges and difficulties. You had to figure things out. You felt a lot of pain. People who are chosen ones, they have to go through greater difficulties and challenges in life. But those challenges really built you, gave you the strength and ability to help others. And you feel this light within you that pushes you to help and to be kind, to support others. And you feel like you are a beacon of light. You feel like this wanting to give, wanting to help, wanting to heal, wanting to make things easier for others, that all comes naturally to you. Even though life has been tough, but you still show up in this world with kindness and compassion. The second sign is that your friends do not get you. You may be disliked by a lot of people. Chosen ones tend to be misunderstood and be a black sheep in the family. And they are, tend to be not liked by others. People tend to not like them. And you tend to attract a lot of unhealed people. People who are suffering, who are in pain, they tend to be attracted to you. And you may be wondering whether it is because you may have toxic energy. Maybe you have a negative energy. That's why you're attracting all these people who are negative, complaining, toxic, and unhealed, in pain, suffering. And you feel like maybe it's your fault that you are attracting your energy, your vibration is low. That's why they are coming to you. But no, this is not true. The reason why people are getting attracted to you, especially toxic people who are in pain and in difficulties is because you have the higher vibration, higher frequency, the energy of healing. You have that kind of compassion and kindness that all sorts of people get attracted to you. You are naturally magnet to people who feel this powerful energy from you and they want to be part of you, part of your circle. So do not feel guilty or shame yourself for having people around you who are toxic, who are difficult and feeling bad that it's because your energy is low. No, this is not the reason why they get attracted. The reason they get attracted because you have this healing, this powerful energy, this high vibrating energy which attracts them to you. And unhealed people love being in your energy because they feel that you are the space, this light for them to express themselves fully and they trust you to be there for them. And this is the reason they keep coming back to you. So do not feel like this is your fault. It is because you are the chosen one. You are the spark of light. This is why they are getting attracted to you. The third sign is you have little to no tolerance to fakeness, to people who are dishonest, who lies, who pretend to be something they are not. And you can figure that out very quickly. You understand people very well. And you can pick up when people are being dishonest, fake and pretentious. That makes you instantly take a step back. You realize who these people are and you tend to kind of distance yourself from those kind of people. That comes very naturally to you. And you are not afraid of challenging those people. You're not afraid of telling them how things are. You're not afraid of speaking your truth. You, you speak your truth with conviction that if you do not like something, if you find something is dishonest, fake, lies, you are not afraid to stand up against that. You feel very passionate about speaking your truth. You feel very passionate about being on the right path and doing the right thing that comes very naturally to you and you are fearless you speak fearlessly you share your thoughts fearlessly you are not afraid of losing people you know because you understand the truth you understand the right path you understand 
what creator wants you to do. You understand why you are here. So you feel like you're serving the purpose by being in this energy of truthfulness and energy of honesty and goodness and kindness and compassion. You feel like you're doing God's work. So you tend to be fearless. You tend to be completely transparent and authentic. That gives you that fire that you have within you that naturally exudes from you. So you just speak your truth. You be around people who are, even though are hard on you, but you are not afraid of speaking. You're not afraid of calling them out. You're not afraid of being fearless. You are just doing what you feel is called upon without any worry what would happen in the future because of your honesty, your truthfulness, this nature of speaking, your standing up for the right things. You're not afraid of the consequences. You're not afraid of the challenges which may come. And even if they do come, you recognize that it all meant to happen. Everything is working. The universe is conspiring. Everything is working in your favor in the right way as it's supposed to be. So you trust whatever is happening is meant to happen. The next sign is you like to live authentic life. You have gone through a lot of pain. You've seen a lot of challenges. You've kind of filtered people out who have been bringing a lot of pain to you. You've seen a lot in life. And now you are in a place where you understand life very well. So you recognize the power of being authentic, power of being true to yourself. So you choose your, your moves on that basis. What is true? What is authentic? You like to live peaceful life without trying to get into the drama of people, complainers, naysayers, negative uh, thoughts, negative people who believe in cultivating negative feeling, you tend to avoid those and you remain in this truthful space where you feel that it's the right thing for you to find peace, to find ease. And if you are somebody, if you are the, the one who is still going through challenges, I want you to recognize that it is short-lived. You will realize that everything that is happening is happening in your favor. So if you are someone who is suffering and going through challenges and pain, realize that this is all supposed to happen to prepare you to learn to have this light, to have this energy of source in you so that you are ready to help, to heal to support others, to be that beacon of light which people look for, to be this wise individual which you are meant to, you are in the process of becoming. So allow yourself to feel that pain, allow yourself to go through the challenges, allow yourself to go through difficulties. And I can understand sometimes it becomes unbearable. Sometimes it becomes so difficult that you feel like, what am I doing here? Why am I suffering so much? Why am I going through so much pain? But trust that it is all happening for greater good. It is all happening for your greater good because you are here to serve the humanity. You are here to serve people who are struggling. So trust the process. Trust that what is happening right now, if you are going through challenges, trust that it will get over. Do not lose hope. Do not lose who you are, your essence, your wisdom, your, your intuition, your, your power, your light. Remain, hold it tight. Remain in this energy of goodness and everything that you're going through, it will leave you eventually. So trust that everything is working out in your favor. The final sign that you are a chosen one is that you are a seeker. You are, have been seeking for years and years and you have always been this curious being where you want to know the truth. You feel there's more to life. You feel there's more to happen in your life. You feel that there are more fulfilling and joyful things you can have in life. 
So you're constantly seeking for more. You're seeking for more happiness. You're seeking for more fulfillment. You're seeking to be more aligned. You're seeking for greater truth. You're consistently seeking. The chosen ones are the seekers. They seek the truth. They imbibe those truths and then they speak those truths. So if you find yourself consistently seeking and you find yourself that you feel like there's more to life, there's more to have, there's more goodness, that life cannot be always this painful, this difficult, there is ease and peace, then you are a chosen one because you have this tendency of seeking. A lot of people just give in to their pain, give in to their challenges and you know there's more to life. You know that there's more to come. You know that there's more happiness for you and to, for this world. There's more peace coming. So you are consistently seeking. You're on this journey, this path of seeking and you wanting to seek more and more doesn't stop for you. And you see that you feel uneasy until you find the truth. You feel this urge of wanting to know more and you do not stop until you have the answers, you have the understanding and you feel like once you get the answer, you understand, ah, this is why. So your intuition is very strong. You trust your intuition. You follow your intuition. In the past, you may have not trusted yourself and your intuition. But as you're growing, as you're evolving, as you're understanding you are the chosen one, you realize your intuitive abilities are getting stronger and stronger. Few spots have been opened up to be coached to by me. So if you have been suffering with emotional pain and you feel that these challenges are really taking you down and you are ready to be healed, you're ready to transform your life so that you build strength and resilience to move forward, to transform, to build that the stronger version of you, then do complete a short application on my website, which I will link it below to qualify for a call with me to see if we are right fit to work together. So I will link that below. Like this video if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And this is the next video you should watch, which is about five habits which makes women weak. I shall see you in the next one.